Gentlemen, I'm at LA Fitness. It's early morning. I'm going to meet my buddy Steve and we're going to blast back and I thought it'd be a, a fun idea to sort of take the camera, film a little bit of a workout, give you an idea of what we're doing and maybe give you something to try next time you decide to work out back. So come on, let's work out. All right guys, so first things first, gonna start with a few sets of pull-ups. I like to do four, two wide, two close. I alternate, let's get down to business. You can always use the assisted machine, which is a great alternative and starting point. Um, all you got to do is adjust basically where the pin is and that's going to lessen or increase your body weight basically and so it's a great great idea to start there if, if, if regular pull-ups are a little bit too challenging. Speaking of challenging, set number two, I'm going close grip. <laughs> Rest for about 45 seconds. Number three, going wide. With pull-ups, it's all about slow, squeeze, and contraction. Get hard in a hurry. All right, fourth set, close grip. All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> Good workout guys, I'll see you next time, I'm kidding. Uh, next up is a seated row. So seated row is one of my favorite exercises. It really allows a great stretch at the bottom, good squeeze and contraction when you pull back. Uh, the idea and the, the key to this exercise is going nice and controlled, nice and slow. We're gonna hit four sets. Each set is gonna progressively get a little bit heavier. It looks like this. Stretch, chest up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, elbows are sliding against your sides, right there. This feels awesome. <sighs> 10, 12 reps, four sets. Last set. All right guys, fourth set down. Now it's time to pull a little bit more. Go, uh, wanna go hammer strength, Steve? Yep. Hammer strength, let's do it. Hammer strength, great equipment. Um, it allows for a great range of motion, uh, but it keeps you nice and controlled, so you get to squeeze it and lift a little bit heavier than you normally would. Chest up. And these are awesome. Three sets. All right guys, third set down, now we're gonna go hit some one-arm dumbbell rows. Another incredible exercise, great stretch, great squeeze, just awesome. I like to just do these from the rack. I like to stand up um, leaning over. You can do that as well on a bench, but for me, I like a little bit more stability and leverage, and so I stand when I do these. Eight to 10 reps, three sets, Increasing weight each set. All right guys, so now uh, to finish up, I'm going back to pull-ups and gonna superset that with straight arm pushdowns. All right, 
<laughs> so the workout's going great. Um, I don't like to spend too much time in the gym, and so there's not a lot of rest in between sets. Um, personally, I feel like you can get more accomplished, you can work the muscles better if you basically rest for 30 to 45 seconds in between sets. Now, am I going to be as strong as if I would rest a minute, two minutes? No, but I like to get in and out of the gym in about 45 minutes. And so the workout is fast, it's quick. I would say that if you're looking for something to try to increase the intensity, cut down on your rest, and and kick ass. All right, so I got seven-ish <laughs> kind of crappy pull-ups, but at this point in the workout, I'm tired, my back is exhausted, but now I'm gonna superset that with straight arm pushdowns. Straight arm pushdowns are an incredible exercise. You get a really great stretch. The idea, keep your chest nice and tall. Arms are slightly bent. You don't wanna lock them out totally straight. Here, and squeeze. This is a great way to work your serratus with those little fingers underneath or on your sides. And this is just a great exercise to finish off an awesome back workout. In terms of reps, I'd say 12 to 15, go a little bit higher. You're not going to use super heavy weight. <sighs> Thirty second rest, back to pull ups. You're pretty much going to failure on these pull ups. At this point, I am done, but it still feels great, and it's a great way to sort of get into those muscles and just break them down a little bit more. One more set. All right, guys, so that is it. Quick, down and dirty, literally 45 minutes. That's all that workout took. I'll list down below the, the, the exercises, the quantities I'd recommend. In terms of weights and how much to use, it's really up to you. Use a weight that is challenging, that you can get you know, eight to 10 to 12 reps. If you can do 12 and it's pretty easy, you wanna increase the weight. So if you're getting like 10, 11, and it's super challenging, that's probably the right weight for you. Uh, after this, I'm actually gonna go and do some cardio. Right now, my body is as empty as possible. I did this workout on an empty stomach, burning calories now. Go hit cardio in my target zone, and I'm going to shred that fat. Remember, i got to get abs by summer, and so might you choose to do so. Guys, thanks for watching. If you dug this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.